As always, 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in soap to ash for at least 20 minutes and then spun in the washing machine until it's damp. It's already been turned inside out and I already have the marks down the center or to mark the center. And then I'm going to flip everything inside itself or flip the arms inside each other, sorry. Uh, there's a whole video it's listed in the description and it shows how to do this with details and why I do this. So otherwise I'm just going to run through this very first part really quick and get onto the fold for this design. All right. I'm going to fold the entire thing back up, bottom to top, until it just touches the top of the collar. And make sure that is smooth. And pull, oh, fix that. Pull this back. I'm going to take the arms and fold those inside as well. It's kind of a toss-up how these go as far as lining it up. I'm trying, or generally try, to line this edge of the sleeve with this. So you have all that lined up. So I want the sleeve mostly lined up with that. I might have to pull that out a little. And that right there is pretty good. So let's make sure there's no excess wrinkles underneath and you can fill them pretty well. Not sure what that is. It's a weird stitch or something. Okay, so I have that done. I've been debating which direction to do this curve. So I'm going to do a circle. And I think I'm going to go this direction for this. I have a few other ideas with this type of concept. I'll try to get those done. Um, to make a circle, you just take a piece of sinew or any other kind of string for this. Just tie it on a marker. Find your center point that you want to go with. Fifteen, so it would be seven and a half inches. call it done just decide where I want the curve to actually be. Um, this will go pretty far in. There's a lot of bulk right there that's really wreaking havoc on this. We'll go with that. All right, pull that off. And then I'll just fold this as an accordion all the way up this line. All right. And this is quite a bit of material right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use sinew for this. probably use rubber band because um, I'm not pulling it super tight and just need it to stay in place. But since this needs to be manipulated quite a bit, just wanted to make sure it's not going to move. So I'll fix both sides of this and go ahead and Drop some rubber bands onto it.
All right. Go ahead and mark these off. Now I just need three sections here. So I think I'm going to go with four inches in between. Mark. And normally I would incline the other direction. Um, so in this case, I'm going to be doing it like this. Normally I would do it like this since this is the center. But I don't think that'll work on this. So let me go ahead and add a few extra rubber bands. That's what it looks like. And off to die. Okay, so this is in a form and it's an incline of about five to six inches on this side. Colors I'm going to be using are, uh, let's see, green MXEG from Custom Colors the dark black from Custom Colors, and grape from Dharma. And these colors were selected by someone in one of the comments. If I can find it, I'll list their name in the comment. If I can't find it, I'm sorry. Uh, looking through the comments can be uh, difficult if I can't remember what video it was on. So I'm going to go ahead and actually set this down flat, or flatter, add ice, put the die on top and I'm doing it in that order so since it's a incline and then we'll just raise it up and let it melt. All right, I'll let that sit until it melts through, and then we'll see what to do. All right, so this is melted through. We're going to go ahead and, uh, I'm looking at the bottom. Yeah, it needs another application. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this down, and then we'll do another dye application. So I'll just add some soda ash, uh, ice, and then let it melt through a second time. Alrighty, we'll let it melt through. Alright, it's been over 24 hours. Let's do this washout. All right, let's take a look. So I'll throw this in the washing machine and we'll take a final look. All right, so here's the result. You'd think I would just move the rubber bands somewhere else so that wouldn't happen all the time. Anyway, so this was based on a request, or several requests actually, um, quite a few, um, for the, what was it, alien spine, the alien exoskeleton design. A lot of people actually asked for purple or red and purple, red and purple, or purple and green, or purple, green, and black. Um, varieties of that. So I went ahead and did the purple, green, and black. And instead of doing, previously with that one I had done like a um, 
slight angle working up. This time I did a curve. And there is a difference. It's a very similar result, which is good because that means I can recreate this, that alien exoskeleton design, and I might do that because I really like the result of that. And then play with the color combinations, uh, not for other videos, but just in general. But it's got these interesting this on either side. I'm not sure if it's showing up in the video or not, but it's kind of interesting. It's almost flower-like, like little petals, but with quite a bit of depth to it. Um, not sure I picked the right places for each of the colors as far as the green, um, purple, and black. And the black is really more of a, I'd call it a navy almost, is what it came out looking in this. Um, maybe go with the black for the center and then just green on the sides and not even do a a third color, just two colors, and I think it'd probably come out pretty cool. But anyway, um, this curve versus the angled version, I'm gonna put it on the screen next to it, maybe the two side by side or something right now while I'm talking. Um, I think I prefer the other one. I, I like that the slight angles that back off and then go back. Uh, I think that looks better than this. This looks like a, I don't know, it doesn't look the same. It doesn't have the that alien spine look to it as much. But still, really cool results from this. Definitely something I like and something I'm gonna make more of just for myself or um, to put out on Etsy. What are your opinions on this? Um, and the previous alien spine design. Uh, which do you prefer? Any color ideas you have in mind? Maybe I should try. Uh, maybe I'd do a video with a bunch of different color options thrown out there or something. Um, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. As always, thanks for watching, and if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and continue viewing. It's much appreciated.